Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jace from Gen Z Reptiles. My brother Josh is behind the camera, but he won't be for too long. Today we've got a video about some of our new pickups. Well, I say new, just since the last time we've had a video like that. And so we've got four new snakes that we'll be showing, kind of talking about our breeding plans with them. And Josh is actually going to be stepping in front of the camera because I'm dealing with some hardcore allergies right now. So um, we didn't want you guys to suffer through this video with my voice like this. Josh will be taking over in a second. One more thing I did want to add though is that we will be at Tinley Park Expo this weekend. So that'll be Saturday, October 9th. And we should be there basically all day. So if you're there, definitely hit us up. We'd love to say hello. What's going on you guys? It's Josh here and it feels good to be back in front of the camera to fill in for Jace today. And we're gonna start off with an absolute banger. We got my boy Mario Judah here and he kind of matches my shirt, not really. But anyways, he's an Enchi yellow belly desert ghost and we've got some pretty big breeding plans for him this season. And I'm gonna whip out my handy dandy cheat sheet right here that has his pairings. So the first girl we're gonna be pairing him to is our yellow belly het albino. And so our goal with that clutch would to be producing some ivory enchi combos. And they're all gonna be het desert ghost, 50% het albino. And the long-term plan with that project is to help increase our odds with making freeway desert ghost combos or highway desert ghost, whatever we decide at the time. Um, so next up, we've got our gargoyle mystic pinstripe girl. So the gargoyle is a cinnamon het red, and then she has mystic and pinstripe. So pretty stacked girl. And the Enchi will react as an allelic combo with the cinnamon het red. So they'll act as super forms. So increasing our odds with hitting some awesome DG stuff down the road. We'll probably keep a decent amount of females from that clutch. And yeah, we can never have enough DG females. And let's see, last but certainly not least, we have him going to our pastel het red azanthic girl. So once again, hitting that Enchi Het Red combo, it's gonna be an Alelic combo. Um, getting Pastel into DG, you can never have enough Pastel DG. It works wonders, so. And then obviously getting that Yellow Belly in, in all of those pairings is gonna be stacked for long-term freeway combos. So yeah, that's it for Mario Judah. I'm gonna get him put away and then we'll bring the next snake out. Next up, we got our Mystery Ball and he comes from Antoine from High Desert Pythons. He is our Super Mojave possible ghi or super ghi and possibly het ghost or visual ghost uh the bell combo mask everything underneath there and we tried black lighting them we couldn't figure out anything so uh he's definitely our mystery ball and what we are going to pair him to is mostly to produce bells but we also got a couple pairings that will hopefully tell us if he has that ghi and or ghost in there so the first girl is going to be a blue-eyed leucistic super lesser so it'll be a full clutch of bells and the reason that we're doing that is because we had one clutch of bells this year and they completely flew off the shelf so there's such high demand for the bells and so we definitely want to produce for you guys uh so if we can get a whole clutch of bells that'd be beautiful and so one thing i want to add into that too from behind the cam is that my favorite bell combo is the mojave lesser it just looks super clean it's yeah. like the most pure white yeah. combo it's stark white has usually has perfect eyes so yeah we're definitely shooting for those uh another girl we're going to be throwing him to is going to be our girl ava she is a butter ghost so that's going to hopefully tell us if he's ghost or a heck ghost it'd be sweet if all the babies that popped out that aren't bells we're all ghosts because I could probably tell us that he is a visual ghost. And then if we get GHI in there or a whole clutch of GHIs, that'd be dope as hell. Getting the super GHI uh, bellboy. And even if we threw him to a normal, would be producing 100% GHI Mojaves, which is just badass. And then the last girl we're going to be throwing him to is our lesser girl. And so that's going to be another clutch to uh, prove out like if he did prove out for super GHI we want at least two clutches to confirm that he all the babies came out with GHIs that aren't bells so that'd be our second clutch to test the theory of whether he's super GHI or just regular GHI so yeah that's our boy we don't have a name for him but he is quite the asshole he isn't right now but usually he's biting us so if you guys have any suggestions definitely put them down in the comments below and with that being said we'll get on to our third pickup all right, I just want to say I apologize for the cussing. I didn't give a fair warning before that, so I'm sorry about that in the last clip. I just want to show you guys my genuine thoughts on the boy. But anyways, our next pickup is this female pie girl. She is weighing in around 1,400 grams. So a couple more meals, maybe get her past that 1,500 gram mark, and then we'll start pairing her. 
and we got some big plans for her this season. We're putting her to, hopefully gonna put her to our Wookiee Het Pied Boy. Uh, they're, they're around 500 grams, so a little bit on the smaller side, but as long as they can get the job done, that'd be awesome for us to, to hit the visual Wookiee Pied. I think that'd be a world's first, and so we're definitely looking forward to that combo. We, we really, really think that the Wookiee Pied is gonna be insane. The Wookiees have those bronze, he, bronze head tones, or whatever you wanna call it, head stamps. And so we're thinking if that can translate over to the pied, you can get a nice dark body pied with a nice bronze head stamp. So that'd be the goal from her. And then one more thing I wanted to add, just a funny side note with her, is she was sold to us as a trouble feeder. So um, we got her and she was only eating live something every once in a while. She wasn't eating too great for the person who had her. Well, she's eaten everything that we've put in front of her. Um, we've tried all live stuff so far. We haven't tried frozen thawed, but she eats like an absolute champ. So that was something cool as a side note. We got her for a heck of a deal um, just because she was that trouble feeder. But sometimes it just takes switching a snake to a different location in order to get that good feeding response. Our fourth and final pickup for this video is going to be this orange dream Enchi Calico Boy. And he is an amazing example of that calico. As y'all can tell, we definitely care about the quality around here. And speaking of that, I'm gonna pop up a video clip of our boy Luca, who is a pastel Enchi Sugar, to show y'all once again how much we care about the quality. And to be quite honest, we definitely pay extra for the quality on these boys. And by the quality, what I mean is the highness of whites. So there's definitely a lot of variation between calico and sugar lines. Some of them range from super high white to super low white, but we always try and strive for the best lines that we can get. And the reason that we ended up buying another boy who is similar to our boy Luca is because Luca was only able to sire one clutch this past season. And honestly, that was probably one of my favorite clutches that we hatched out. All the sugar babies that we released from that clutch sold within hours of being posted. So we definitely needed some more of that calico slash sugar stuff. And we got some big plans for this boy right here. I'm gonna whip out the old cheat sheet again. So we're gonna be pairing him to the first girl, which is gonna be a black pastel. And so if y'all know anything about the campfire combo, I'm gonna actually pop up a picture of it right now. The campfire is a Enchi cinnamon calico. And so we're hoping to achieve a similar orange glow effect by throwing black pastel in there as a substitution for cinnamon. And even if we add some orange cream into that combo, I think it's gonna intensify the oranges even more. And so, as you guys can see how crazy that campfire combo is, we wanna get a lot of that this season. So, we also got them going to our eight ball girl. So, she is a cinnamon black pastel. We wanna increase those odds of hitting that Enchi cinnamon or black pastel calico combo. And so, we should be producing what? A fourth of the clutch should be a campfire if the odds play out right. So that'd be dope with that clutch. And last but certainly not least, we got a cinnamon mystic pinstripe girl. So once again, we're able to make campfires from that clutch with the cinnamon in there. Uh, throw pinstripe and mystic into that combo. Heck, we can get a 16 snake in that clutch. And honestly, I think it'd be pretty rad. So yeah, that's going to sum it up for what we're going to be pairing him and roll the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed those four pickups that we showed in today's video and our plans for them this upcoming season. Like I said during the video, a couple of them still don't have names and we're running low on ideas. So if you have any suggestions, y'all know where to leave them down below in the comment section below. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I am no Jace in front of the camera. So I got a handy dandy list here to wrap up today's video. And I wanted to mention that once again, we are going to be at Tinley this upcoming Saturday, October 9th. We'll be there all day long. So don't be shy, come say hi. Uh, we'll probably be doing some filming, but we don't care. If you guys see us, say what's up to us. We definitely love meeting you guys. We met a couple of you guys at the Arlington show not too long ago. And it's really cool hearing our fan stories and what they do in the ball python world. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is that we have no more clutches that we're going to be cutting this season. Everything is out. And so we are running low on supply. So if you guys want to end up buying a snake from us this season, we give our YouTube fam 10% off your entire order. So just mention you're from YouTube and your message to us and we'll hook you guys up. And last but certainly not least, give us a follow on Instagram. We're posting there every single day. We got a bunch of our hold backs up on there. We got some heat on there. So definitely follow us there. Give us a like or whatever you guys gotta do. Uh, definitely be sure to like, subscribe, comment, do your thing guys. Um, if you guys are still going in your ball python season, I hope that's going well. If not, if you already wrapped up, I hope you guys had a great season and we will see y'all in the next one.